In the past week, I ran a poll on my YouTube channel asking if you'd like me to film some tutorials to sew the basic garments in our wardrobe. And 90% of you said, yes, you'd like that. So let's kick off this series by looking at a few patterns to make those staple garments in our wardrobe. Hi, I'm Deb. In today's video, I'm looking at a few basic garments from the Kettlewell Colours catalogue and showing the patterns that I found to recreate those garments. I've tried to find patterns that are both in PDF format for those of us who love PDF patterns and also in paper pattern tissue or paper format for those of us who like a physical pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by looking at Kettlewell Colours. Kettlewell Colours is a company that is based in the UK and their philosophy is to produce a small range of clothes but in a huge variety of colours. Colours are divided into the four seasons. There's spring, summer, autumn and winter, as you'd imagine. And within those seasons, there's also a range of colours that you can choose from. Now, this means that you can choose your wardrobe basics and your wardrobe essentials in your particular colour palette, which I think is absolutely fantastic for someone who's building a capsule wardrobe. What I've done for this video is dipped into the catalogue, picked out several of the items that I think are wardrobe essentials, and I've matched them up with patterns that we can sew. So let's get started. Now, as it's autumn and winter season at the moment, the majority of items I'm going to look at are long sleeved tops, layering, garments, etc. So please bear that in mind. Start with a classic long sleeve round neck top. I spotted in the Kettlewell catalogue has a round neck long sleeves and I'm assuming that if we were making it as sewists ourselves we'd probably make it in cotton lycra or maybe even cotton viscose. So the patterns I chose to recreate this look are firstly I've chosen the Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe pattern. This is a PDF only, although it does boast goodness knows how many sleeve variations. There are numerous neck variations, length variations, etc. I'll just show you the line drawings. Here we go. There's goodness knows how many variations there. And also, these, this pattern is mashable with a lot of sleeve patterns from the other Pattern Emporium patterns. There is a list on the website that shows you the mashability of sleeves and the necklines between patterns. Like I said, it's PDF only, but that is possibly the most versatile pattern that you will have in your pattern library. At the top I'm wearing is actually a Keep It Simple Babe top. It's a size 12 and I just chose the high round neck and the long sleeve. Another pattern that is PDF only is the Sinclair Bondi 22 pattern. Can you see that? Um, again, it has quite a few sleeve variations and neck variations and body variations. I think this comes with a, a band at the bottom if you so wish. There are not as many variations as the Pattern Emporium pattern. However, there are two sleeve pattern packs that you can use to add onto the versatility of the Bondi 22. Again, like I said, it's PDF pattern and comes in a range of sizes from 0 to 30 or extra, extra small to 4XL. So a really good side range there. I've also chosen a couple of patterns that have the paper pattern option. The first one I've chosen is the Wardrobe By Me Wardrobe Builder. Um, again, it has that's quite a lot of glare on that, isn't there? Sorry. It has um, various neck options, about five different sleeve options. Uh, it has different hem options, length options, etc. So again, I think there are about, I don't know, about 60 options in that altogether. Um, you can buy a paper pattern version. This is the PDF version that I have. It's available from 
various online shops. You can also buy it, like I said, as a PDF to download. It's an A0 or A4 format, so you can either choose to send it to the printer. Well, the other patterns as well that I've mentioned, you can choose to send to the printer or you can uh, glue them together yourself. Uh, size range for this is size 30 to 54. I also chose the Stylark Susan Top pattern, which I actually don't have myself. It literally is a round neck, long sleeved top, much like a lot of the other patterns, but it doesn't have the neckline and sleeve variations. So you would just be buying the pattern for the round neck, long sleeve top but it does have the option of paper pattern if you so desire. The Susan top can be bought from anywhere that you buy your style arc paper patterns from and they're also sold online as well. I think it's fair to say that whatever season you're in, if you bought the Keep It Simple Babe, the Bondi 22 or the Wardrobe Builder pattern, you could sew yourself tops for any season in any sleeve length and any neck shape. So one of those patterns is should definitely be in your pattern stash. The next garment I chose from Kettlewell is a roll neck sweater. I can see this top being made up in a really nice slinky viscose jersey, maybe viscose cotton, maybe even bamboo jersey. But it's it looks to be a nice soft, uh, layering piece that you can wear under a jumper or a cardigan that comes up your neck obviously and keeps your neck warm when the weather's getting cooler. I've chosen four patterns for this. Again, PDFs, pattern, paper patterns. First one is again the Pattern Emporium Keep It Simple Babe. I've gone into details uh, a short while ago with the previous garment, but you can see here that it's being worn and there's a roll neck version as well. I believe there are two roll neck versions for this pattern, uh, a high neck and a low neck. So you can choose which one you like. So this pattern really does give you bang for your buck. Um, Wardrobe by me also have a roll neck pattern. It's the Trudy turtleneck t-shirt. Again, it's similar to the wardrobe builder in that you've got various sleeve elements here and either a mock roll neck or a turtleneck and a roll neck top. I've made this up uh, recently in leopard print cotton viscose. I didn't have quite enough stretch in my fabric, unfortunately, so my top came out a little bit tight, but it really is an easy, straightforward top. Sizes for the Trudy turtleneck are from zero to 24. There is a paper pattern version available. It's available online to buy. Two style arc patterns that I chose. Again, there's the option of a paper pattern version. I chose both the Alexi top, which has a separate collar that you stitch on, or the Deborah Zebra top, which is the pattern where the collar is grown on to the front and the back. Either one of those would be fantastic for the kettle well substitute. Um, usually style arc range from size four to 30. You may have to choose the range of uh, sizes that you'd like though. So again, PDF, pa paper pattern, style arc. On to my third pick from kettle well, one of my favorites, a V-neck button up cardigan. Now, my absolute favourite button-up cardigan to make is the Rebecca Page Keeley cardigan. You can either have the duster version or the short version. You can also have short sleeves or long sleeves, I believe. Now, Rebecca Page has recently been rebranded and is now called You Make, but you can still get this pattern from the website. It's only a PDF pattern. It doesn't have a paper copy at all. Uh, sizes are from extra, extra small to 5XL, but there also is a curvy variant. Choose the style art pattern for you because again, it has a paper pattern copy, copy if you so desire. And it's the cozy cardi. Here we go. Oops. You see that? 
Uh, what this cardigan has is a facing rather than a sewn on band to the front. But again, it's got the V-neck, long sleeves and is a classic V-neck card. It's again sizes 4 to 30. Bit of a bonus pattern for you. Um, it's a Jaylee pattern and it's just called um, the Twin Set. It's this, it's an older pattern. Uh, but in that you have uh, a sweater that has a roll neck, a sweater that has, or top, a round neck and a cardigan, the V-neck. So all these elements are interchangeable. So you can have um, a cardigan with a short sleeve, a top with a long sleeve, etc. And like I said, there are the round neck and the roll neck versions. So if you bought this pattern from J. Lee, you could have a pattern to recreate the Kettlewell V-neck cardigan, round neck to top and the roll neck top. So this really is a good pattern if you don't want to splash out and all the rest. My pattern has 27 sizes and that also includes children's sizes. So if you're making for little ones and yourself, this is a great pattern to have. A little bit unsure of the full size range because I might have bought my pattern with just one of the size ranges. So I'll put that on the screen for you. Fabrics for the round neck top, roll neck top and the V-neck cardigan. We're talking cotton and lycra, like I said. Uh, cotton viscose, viscose jersey, something that's a t-shirt tie or top type of fabric. We're looking at suppliers like uh, such as Tia Knight Fabrics are based in the UK, Pound Fabrics are based in the UK, Minerva Fabrics who have a massive range of fabrics and will post out internationally. It's the kind of thing that you're looking for. Moving on to bottoms then. I saw a couple of pairs of really nice jersey trousers or pants on the Kettlewell website. There was a tapered pair and a wide leg pair. So let's first of all go through the tapered trousers. Once again, it's a pattern emporium pattern, so it is only PDF. It's the urban pants pattern. I've made this up six times altogether. I've made three pairs for myself and three pairs for my mum. There's a wide leg version, a straight version and a tapered version. I made the tapered version for my mum and this is the version that I'd make the tapered kettlebell pants in. The trousers have a yoga waistband just like the kettlebell pants do and of course you can make them in any colour you want. Sizes for this pattern are Australian 6 to 22 so that's actually quite a narrow size range. But I have found some style art patterns for nice tapered ponty style pants. I have three patterns and like I said, you can buy the paper pattern from Style Arc. There's the Parker Ponty Pant, which is quite popular. So it's got the fake um, front pockets and the back pocket and the elasticated waistband. We have the Beth woven pants which again have a similar yoga waistband to the Pan Emporium trousers and straight legs. And then we also have the early stretch pants, which have a similar line. So all those three from Style Arc are in sizes four to 30, and you can get a paper pattern as well. For the wide leg pants, I chose, as I said, Pan Emporium urban pants. The wide leg version, obviously the longer length. And the style art pattern I chose for this is the Peter Pants or Petter Pants. Oops. So again, we've got the wider legs and the elasticated top. Again, that's in sizes 4 to 30 and you can get a paper pattern for the style art version. I found a fantastic midi length skirt on the Kettlewell website. This particular skirt is in velvet. It would be a fantastic type of skirt to wear for all your seasonal parties. The skirt that immediately sprung to mind is the Northcote skirt from Stylark. There we go. I've made this before in Ponty. I made it in Black Ponty. 
it's just a MIDI version. There isn't sort of, you know, a variation of lengths there. It's straightforward to make. It's got an elasticated waist. It really is fantastic. I think that'd look really, really good in velvet. So that is my pick for the velvet skirt. Again, in sizes four to 30, paper pattern is available. And finally, we have my choice of a topper. It's a dust coat from Kettlebell Colours. Again, I chose the Rebecca Page Keeley Cardigan and I also chose the Stylark Como Knit Cardigan. As I previously described, Rebecca Page is now you make. They are only PDF patterns. Stylark, the Como cover-up cardigan does come as a paper pattern in a range of sizes from 4 to 30. I don't have the Como cardigan, but I really want it. So that will definitely be on my shopping list this month, if not this week. Okay, so they are my choices from the Kettlewell catalogue. I'd like to start the sewer longs with the round neck long sleeve top. So if you fancy sewing along with me, grab yourself one of the patterns that I've just shown to you. Grab yourself some fabric, wash it up and get yourself ready for the first tutorial. I will put a note onto the YouTube community tab to tell you when that first tutorial is ready. Just a quick note about my hashtag Friday Sews videos. I didn't actually record a video on Friday and I don't think I'm going to be recording any more in the foreseeable future. The reason is that Friday is the day that I get to sew for myself and if I've got to record a video on either Friday or Saturday, I don't get any sewing done and hence I don't get any garments made for my wardrobe. I think it's also fair to say that as I have bipolar, my mental health does suffer occasionally and I don't always feel like making the videos on Friday or Saturday. So I would rather make them when I feel well and perky and I'm in a good frame of mind to chat to you on video. So I'll be continuing to make videos as and when. I'll still try to make one a week, but they'll tend to be videos like tutorials, sew the looks, etc. or roundup of what I've made in a month. I think going forward, that's probably the best for me. Anyway, enough from me and my ramblings today. Until next time, happy sewing. Bye bye.